Hello! In this video, I'm going to walk through how to assemble the dielectric film carrier for a purple drop. It's essentially a FR4 frame with a film of mylar adhered to it and a hydrophobic coating spin coated onto that. It provides the insulator between the electrodes and the drops, and it's convenient because it's pretty cheap and disposable, so easy to replace when your hydrophobic surface is worn out or damaged. First up, we'll cut out a strip of the adhesive to attach to the FR4 frame. It just needs to be big enough to cover it. So that looks good. So we'll peel off the back backing, and uh, one trick here is to use a little scrap piece of the backing as a tool for handling. Otherwise, the adhesive is pretty sticky and hard to handle. Once that's pressed on tight, just cut off the excess adhesive from the frame. There may be a little bit of excess adhesive sticking out under the edge. You can usually clean that off pretty easily by just rubbing it with a finger. So now that's ready for the mylar film. Premier Lab Supply sells a 6 micron mylar film on a roll that's just the right size to cover the frame. I start by taping the mylar down to a work surface. You, we want to get a nice flat, taut surface of the mylar, so it needs to be tight. But when we heat it up later, you'll see it's going to shrink. So it doesn't need to be perfect here. We just want to make sure we don't have too much excess. So I usually tape it down and I'm moderately careful to make sure it's stretched tight. So you can see this mylar has a few ripples in it. It's not quite perfect. We're going to put it in the oven here, and when it comes out, it should be looking much better. The oven is preheated to 120 C, and we're going to put it in for about five minutes. After a few minutes in the oven, we pull that back out, and now the mylar is nice and flat and ready for spin coating. These videos were made during the COVID-19 outbreak, so at Missile Lab we've been working from home almost entirely for the past few months. So in order to keep projects going at home, I had to put together this a uh, very DIY spin coder. It's just a quadcopter brushless motor and some acrylic to make a frame around it and some screws to hold parts down onto the spinner. So it gets the job done. Really all you need to spin coat these things is something that will hold it and spin at about a thousand RPM. 
I usually give it a quick cleaning with some IPA before spinning. If you have a ultrasonic bath, that's a good way to do it as well. Once it's up and spinning at 1000 RPM, we're going to dispense 450 microliters of the fluoropel hydrophobic coating onto the center while it spins, and then let it spin for about 30 seconds afterwards to spread. After spin coating, it goes into the oven to bake for about 30 minutes at 120 C. Before attaching the mylar frame to the electrode board, I put down a thin layer of silicone oil. Uh, it's 2 CST viscosity. I usually just do this with a Kim wipe. The film carrier is attached to the electrode board with four 256 screws. I recommend keeping the surface covered when not in use to prevent any accidental contact or dust collection on it. This petri dish is pretty good for that. And that's all.